How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? I'm your host today, Silent Senior Zero Nine, and today we are going to be collecting figurines on Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker, or at least I'd say we'd be doing that if I could find Link. 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 Here, boy. I got Granny Soup. Yay! Ooh, yay! Aww. What can I do? Get your butt back here. I don't wanna! I don't wanna! Okay, I gotta stop being obnoxious. Somebody who's clicking on this after having gone taka 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 taka. How to find figurines on Wind Waker. Guide, help, now. They'll probably be like, this guy has got issues. X! So, before we get started, I should probably go ahead and clarify. I've been kind of just leisurely going through this. And in case you haven't been able to tell, this is part of a walkthrough. Well, not really walkthrough, it's more of a let's play. Haven't helped you if you're using me as a guide, but I'm going to try to make this as guide E as possible, with a little bit of my flair thrown into it, but not too much, of course. Um, we have collected a few figurines. I've just done it leisurely throughout the Let's Play, but let's go ahead and go back over which ones we've collected, so that way we know, and then we can focus on the ones we have not collected. So far, to date, we have collected Zephos and Cyclos. How dare he laugh at me. Kali Demos. Anyway, before you forget to, if you have the Dulex Picto Box, make sure you snap a good photo of the flower itself, because that's what this is, it's a giant plant. Godon. Make sure I'm lined up. Get a good picture of him. Big Octo. Go ahead and get the camera out, because you know me. Gotta get that Nintendo Gallery stuff, man. Phantom Ganon. I'm gonna have to just take the hit. And yeah, that's good. Helmarok King. The best way, I think, to get the full body shot of the Helmarok King is to get it when it's flying in air. And Tetra. Take a moment to get your camera out, wait for Tetra to come up to you, and snap her photo. This is the one and only time you will be able to get this. Now, let me go ahead and take a look at one figurine in particular. It's actually in the Great Sea. The last room that we will be filling up, and this will, if you're playing along, be your last room you fill out because this is the room that basically is kind of the figurine decider because there's a figurine in here or a platform for a figurine that can be for one figurine or the other but not both they changed this in the HD game and made it to where you can get both of them but anyway focusing on the main reason to come in here when you get Tetris figurine you will automatically unlock all of her crew members' figurines. Kind of a nice bonus. That's like freaking one for the price of six, if I counted right. Let's see, three and six, yeah. So seven figurines in one go. There are other figurines, and I'll be sure to make note of them as we go and collect them. But for now, let's go and get started. So, you're probably thinking, all right, what's the plan? What, what figurines are we collecting today? Well, based on the title, I'd say we're going to be focusing on Forest Haven and Dragon Roost Island. I will not be collecting every single figurine in one go because there's some of them you cannot get due to some limitations and presently in the story where we're at there's some figurines we will not be able to get but let's go ahead and focus on the first two we can get first up we can go ahead and get Karlov here the sculptor he's in Forest Haven and luckily enough Manny he's also here so let's go ahead and get his picture and I'm just gonna do this one time and then we're gonna go ahead and cut out the rest this is how the process works. First, make sure you talk to Karloff if you, from the last figurine you submitted or photo you submitted to get a figurine, because otherwise you can't submit a new picture until you've done this. You have to talk to him, and he tells you about, oh, it took him some time, yada yada, and he tells you to go check it out, and he tells you which room he put it in, and he puts a little heart at the end. Once you've done that, then you can submit a new figurine. So we'll go ahead and get him to sculpt himself, and this is kind of funny, actually, so I'll include this. Beautiful, breathtaking, sublime! The shiny pupil, the smooth, supple skin. Who is this, and where can I find such beauty existing in the world? Why, this is beauty incarnate! Mercy me! My heart bubbles over with the undeniable compulsion to create a figurine from this work of art. Please permit me to sculpt this. It will be a jewel of a figurine. Alrighty. As usual, you'll have to wait until tomorrow. I bet you're looking forward to seeing what you're going to get. I know I am! Ooh. Yeah, if your ego got any bigger, there wouldn't be any room in here. But thankfully, his heart's in the right place. So, every time you drop off a photo, this is the process you gotta go through. 
If you have not done so already, you need to make sure you have learned the Song of Passing. If you have not, go to Windfall Island, go see Tot, and pull out your Wind Waker. That's how you learn it. Or, if you need a visual aid, you can go ahead and refer to... Oh, I forget what part it is, but it's it's along the way of... Actually, you know what? I know exactly which one it was. It's right after we finish up the Tower of the Gods. It's called The Hero of Wind and Time. That was the one I basically learned both the Ballad of Gales, which I also recommend you learn, and I learned the Song of Passing. Anyway, so right now what we're doing is we're just using the Song of Passing. I'm showing this now because I want this to be thorough, and then after that I'm just going to cut out and cut away till we get each photograph, because that's mainly what the highlight of the video is. It's not going to be me dropping off photos, because you already know where to go once I've shown you the first time. But as far as where every person and character is on the island that we need to get, I need to show that. Welcome, Silent S. The figurine you've requested is ready. I know I always say this, but this is some of the best work I've done in quite a while. Go in that door to check it out. I've put it in the first room on the left. My left, to be specific. Make sure you keep that in mind. When he says which direction, he's talking about his perspective. So basically, his left is that door over there. Obviously, with the Forest Haven look. And then, of course, once you've talked to him, you just submit a new photo. So, we've got the first figurine. we got the second figurine we're going to go ahead and submit, give him Manny's photo. Next up, we're going to focus on the next bit in Forest Haven. Or we're going to focus on Forest Haven's figurines. So, meet you guys at the next figurine. Inside Forest Haven, you'll find the great Deku Tree. To get his figurine, you just need to get a picture of his face, and you're good to go. Also inside Forest Haven, you will find Hollow, one of the Korok children. He is the potion shop master, if you need a refresher on who that is. If you give him Boku Baba seeds, he will give you blue potion. But, again, not important. You want to kind of back up a bit, because if you try, talk, try to snap his photo as you walk in the room, you'll automatically start presenting the camera. Alright, next up. If you have cleared the second dungeon already, then the remaining Korok children will actually be spread out among the different islands. First up on Greatfish Isle, you will find yourself Lender. He's the guy with the clove, I believe, on his face. Southwest to Greatfish Isle, you'll find Needle Rock Isle. And on Needle Rock Isle, you'll find Elma, the lily pad Korok. Northwest to Tingle Island, you'll find Mother and Child Isle. And on Mother and Child Isle, you'll find Roan, the star-shaped Korok. North of Mother and Child Isle, you'll find Star Island. And on Star Island, you will find Oaken, the heart-shaped Korok. North of the Tower of the Gods, you'll find Eastern Fairy Island. And on this magnificent island, you'll find Olivia, the pink-thorned Korok. South of the Tower of the Gods is Private Oasis, or if it's been renamed, then blank oasis. And on Private Oasis, you'll find the yellow-leafed Korok. Ooh boy, getting tired of traveling yet? Well, no worries, we're almost done. West of Southern Fairy Island, you'll find Shark Island. And on this island, you will find the oval-shaped Korok, also known as Urge. The last Korok child, if you go east of Forest Haven, you'll find Cliff Plateau Isle. Now I'm going to show this because this is kind of required to actually get him. You're going to want to make sure you have the Deku Leaf, something to fend off enemies, and fire arrows. Why? Well, to get to the Korok, we need to get to a hole. And down the hole leads us into a little underground area with some lovely, fun growth, undergrowth here, I should say, filled to the brim of, ugh, because that's what I do when I have, or I have to come here when I'm not, like, busy exploring. I go, oh, god, it's that Korok, the one on Glyph Plateau. Ew, nasty. So I got the boomerang here armed because you get a lot of bakugabas, and these guys can be kind of a problem, especially with all these thorn whisper looking creatures telling me how nasty things. Anyway, your main focus is to get this book bakababa because we need to go up. And then we need to go out, essentially. I know. Cliche. Up and out! As they say in the movies. Alright, and this is the part where you're like Oh, crap, what do I do? Well, you need fire arrows for once. Let's go ahead and get this baby out and fire away. Yeah. And now, Deku Leaf. Woo! Yeah! There's the first Ric Flair of the video. Oh my goodness. 
I bet y'all get tired of seeing that, those who've been keeping up this Let's Play. Anywho, once you've gone through all of that on Cliff Plateau, I would recommend saving this guy for last, or going after this guy first, whichever you prefer. Right here, you'll find the lily pad shaped Korok, and this lovely little sinker's name is Aldo. After submitting all those photos to Karlov, our sculpting friend, you should have every single figure in Forced Haven except for two, unless, of course, you decided to do some off screen work yourself. Ho ho ho. This first one here is Makar. We cannot, I cannot anyway, presently get to him or get his figuring because of story related elements. He's actually disappeared presently, but normally he would be in either the waterfall or inside Forest Haven. But anyway, like I said, I'm not going to bother with his. The second figurine right here, I'm not going to spoil what it is, but we cannot get it through regular means. We have to actually purchase the photo, purchase a photograph of him from Lenzo, the pictographer. Anyway, with that said and done, we got every figurine in Forest Haven, it's time to move on to Dragon Roost Island. So see you guys toward Dragon Roost Island. Just north of Dragon Roost Island, you want to make sure you sew yourself a good distance away, but not too far off. Probably about to where you can hear the Great Sea theme music. Then what you want to do is you want to take your pictograph, whip it out, and zoom in all the way to 9, or the maximum amount, whatever it winds up being. I don't actually know what it is on the HD version. Look up toward the top of the mountain and you should see Valu's head there. You want to make sure he's not moving his head too much and then snap a photograph of that. If you have not completed the first dungeon, you can also get his photograph that way. Anyway, let's move on. Inside Dragon Roost Island, you should find Nomaly here walking on the first floor. Make sure you get a good shot of his face and torso, because otherwise Sculptor Karlov is going to be all picky and whatnot and be like, uh-uh, I ain't accepting that. Also on the first floor is either Bisht or Bashed. I can never really tell the two apart, but this is actually a two-person figurine. The other, or two Rito, I should say. The other Rito is upstairs on the second floor. Just outside the Chieftain's room, you should find either Bisht or Bashed. Again, I can never tell the two apart, but just know that these two count as one figurine, so you don't have to worry about snapping both their photographs. Walking around on the second floor, you should find Pashi. Also, on the second floor, you'll find the mail center, where you'll find Kobali. And the intern mail person, Beto. Oh, Kidoki Artichokis. So, my bad on the Beto shot, by the way, guys. That photo I just took, not good. Don't do what I just did. You probably want to climb up on the stair railing here, and then zoom in just a bit so you can kind of get a full body shot of his face. I don't know how you're supposed to, quote, get a full body shot, because half of it's covered by the counter, but hopefully this is a better shot. And just outside the Chieftain's room, you'll find Hoskett, the guy that's looking for gold feathers for his girlfriend. Get a nice good head to torso shot, and you should be good to go. Inside the Chieftain's room is, well, the Chieftain. Make sure you get his good side. And just a little footnote to add on the Chieftain's figurine. If you manage to collect his figurine, you will automatically unlock Quill's figurine. In the Chieftain's room, just behind the Chieftain, you'll find Sket and Akut, Chieftain's two personal role guards. Again, much like Bisht and Bast, you don't need to get both their photos. Only focus on getting one of them and you'll get this figurine easy peasy lemon squeezy. This next one is a bit of a doozy. On the second floor, next to the mail center, if you head out the exit that is directly next to it, you should find Illory standing here looking out at the sea. Now, no matter how you position yourself, you're not going to get a good shot of this guy. So what you have to do is whip out your Wind Waker, play the Wind's Requiem, set the wind direction to blow in a northeast direction, then, with your Deku Leaf ready to go, and a little luck in tow. Whip out your deck leaf and float on over to the little lone island that you would normally go to if you were going and exploring this island for rupees. Once here, go ahead and whip out your boomerang and take care of this annoying Kargarok, so he'll leave you alone. Then, patiently, position yourself close to the edge of the cliff here. Get your camera out, zoom in all the way to nine, and then get yourself a nice centered shot of Illyrie. And then there you go. And outside next to Illyrie, you'll find the very last Rito that we can go ahead and snap a photo of right now. 
So, with your grappling hook, uh, presumably that you actually aim correctly, <laughs> you're going to want to go ahead and swing on over here. Make sure you have your Dulux Picto box ready at hand. And then you're going to snap a photo of the Rito member known as Kogali. Little footnote on him. He is a missable figurine. You need to get him, or get a picture of him rather, before you awaken the Earth Sage. If you head east of Dragon Roost Island, you'll find Flight Control Platform. Here, you will find two more figurines that will go to the Dragon Roost Room. Downstairs here, you'll find the younger brother of the two Flight Control Platform brothers, Willie. And, if you agree to play the Flight Control minigame again, you'll find the older brother, Obli. If you have followed me up to this point, you should have every single Dragon Roost figurine except for three. Go ahead and talk about it in just a second here, but let me go ahead and give you a little grand tour. As you can see, we have everybody's figurine. Also make sure if you didn't get Zephos and Cyclos' figurine by taking a picture of Cyclos when you go to get the Ballad of the Gales. If you forget to do that, well then you're going to have to do a second quest run in order to get his, basically. But in here you should find three bare spaces. One of them is for Medley, and the reason I avoided her is because I would trigger a cutscene, and in the main Let's Play that most people are focusing on, which is the story, we're not there yet, so I decided to avoid her. On the other one, uh, I believe, is Prince Kamali's uh, figurine. He's actually not present currently at the island. Um, he will be after we uh, trigger the cutscene with Medley. The last one is, again, it's another spoiler, so I really can't say, but... It's a, another figurine you have to purchase via from Lenzo, but you can only get it, much like the other figurine in Forced Haven, until you've gotten every single figurine in here, uh, uh, up until this one, basically. And then you can go buy it from Lenzo for 50 rupees on one of the days. I'll make sure I make a video talking about the cycle of when you can purchase what figurine and like what order they fall in. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I am so sorry it's so choppy and so probably unprofessional, but I figured, well, this is the best approach I can do to kind of clump this all together and keep it somewhat semi-organized. Uh, that said, being said, thank you so much for watching. Love y'all bunches. Please don't tails flat. And tune in tomorrow for when we go ahead and take on the next set of figurines. I'm going to take on two more rooms, basically almost fill them all up, if not fill them all up, and then... Finally, once that's done, we will focus ourselves back on the main story and get back on track to saving the entire Great Sea and all that's good and holy, or whatever. Anyway, love y'all. Don't let shows flat. Take care. Peace out.